Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace, unity, other things too. Tyr's own design. He made this door himself. Where Odin brought all his best clues about Jotunheim. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Tell us Balder is the son of Freya. He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Balder and Freya, I... 
Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Ed, tell me Baldur's vulnerability. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. Yes, lad? You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? I don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. You're grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Princess. You're gonna get me all weepy. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Something else we can do for you? Nah, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah. Well, I could say the same to you. <laughs> I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. You forgive me? Already have. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get... Sentimental. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Atreus, here! T. 
here's Rune. This is it. We're inside. But what is... Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Up there. Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Odinon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant. Boy, this is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. <clears throat> we can flip the temple. Do what now? I think they're attacking. Huh? Boy, on the statues. I see them. It says void. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach the whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. Ah, not sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to Jotunheim. 
I don't mind a lead. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tear are the same kind of mad. Here, boy. Another one. It says his name is Bergomir. I think Mother said he was the king of the giants. Aye, that he was. And quite a bit more. Looks like he had a lot of kids. That, little brother, is what we call an understatement. He's dead. Nobody killed him. Do giants die from old age? They may, though it's rare among the legends. Again with the death traps. I'd have thought, brother, why don't you let the lad carry me for a while? And let you miss this. No. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Hmm. to do what you do, brother. Until gods grow good. Could be quite a wait. Nah. They're just waiting for us. Hey, it's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look for...
You two make quite a formidable duo. <laughs> <laughs> 